I'm Glenna Cleek with Encore Ministries of First United Methodist Church in Benton. I just put away our Christmas decorations for this year. Every year, I pack them away and store them in their special place, and they'll stay there until after Thanksgiving when I get them out and decorate for next Christmas. I always find myself thinking, what will be changed by the time I see these things again? At the same time that we're ending Christmas, we have the concurrence of beginning a new year. And again, we're asking ourselves, what will this year bring? What might be changed during this year? I have a favorite poem that it's for the new year, and I know that I've shared it many times with a lot of you, but it certainly bears repeating. It's a poem by Minnie Louise Haskins, a British poet who wrote it in the early 1900s, and it was recited by King George VI of Great Britain in his Christmas Day message to his nation in 1939. War was on the horizon for Great Britain and for the whole world at that time, and Great Britain had just gotten involved in the war. King George's desire was to encourage and assure his people, and with that in mind, he read this poem. I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Go out into the darkness and put thine hand into the hand of God. That shall be to thee better than light and safer than a known way. Our situation in our country and in the world right now is not is not the same as it was for Britain and and um, the world in 1939. But nevertheless, our country and the world are facing a dark and difficult time in many ways now. As we step through that gate into the new year, we must put our hand in the hand of God. And if we hold tightly to his hand and we we will draw from his light and his love and his wisdom. And the tighter that we hold to God's hand, the closer we'll grow to him. And the more of his light we will have within us. Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Matthew 5.14 says, You are the light of the world. All those who are God's children are called to reflect His light and love to others. Matthew 5.16 says, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. We are the key to spreading light and love to a dark and troubled world. So, if we hold tightly to God's hand as we take it at the gate, His light and love will shine through us to others, and what a difference we can make in this world. Let us pray. Gracious God, take our hand and lead us through this new year. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you as you seek to know him better this year, and may you be light to others.